All right, we're good. Do you want me to say a prayer since you said it last? Uh, yeah, that sounds good. Dear kind and gracious Heavenly Father, we're so very thankful for this day, and we're thankful for all the many blessings that Thou has given us. We're thankful we could have a good week and please us so we can be safe and accomplish all that we need to this weekend, uh, that we can do our quiz and exam uh, with the Spirit. And I say the same thing, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Two beans. So you're the one who wanted, uh, that had a buddy come over, right? Or have they? Yeah, I have a friend coming into town. He should be here any minute, but I don't know when he's getting in. So. Cool. All right. Are you, were you the married one? No, I'm not married. Do you live in Rexburg? Yeah. Where are you at? I live at the Roost, but I'm actually, I spend a lot of time in my sister's apartment. Yeah? Yeah. She, she's near to so like. It's just, it's pretty quiet here. Like, they're usually just in the room watching TV or something. So. Yeah. That makes sense. Dude, you should get married. It's quiet, like what you just said. Yeah. <laughs> I, I guess that's your goal. It's pretty quiet usually, but, like, I don't know. Sometimes there's just not much to do in my apartment. Or sometimes everyone's there. So. Where were you from? I'm from Maryland. Oh, okay, so you went across the country. Yeah. Where are yeah. you from? I'm trying to, I'm from Arizona. So mm-hmm. But I live I live in Rexburg right now. Uh oh. Okay, not big of that. Okay. So it looks Amazing. like just for this week, uh the team discussion is just about exponential and logarithmic functions and graphing. Yeah, give me one second. I'm trying to get it in front of me. Okay. Oh, yeah, because that's the group quiz. It's on logs. Yeah. Group submission. I think I passed it. The sub- Are you uh, ready yeah. for the group quiz? No, I, I was looking for it before that, okay. after the team discussion. Okay. So, when it's an exponent, a log-based kind of cancels off the exponent, right? Yes, I'm pretty sure. Mm-hmm. So, 3 to the x, so the first one is a 3 to the x minus 1. If you do log x minus 1, to the 3 to the x minus 1, it kind of cancels off the exponent, right? That's my understanding of log. Yeah, yeah I think so. Doesn't it make it like, shoot, does it make it Could, like log of 3 or something like that? Or Yeah, because you know how a log is, or to the exponent, it's an exponential growth. I'll show you a video. Yeah. So, so like if this was our x-axis, can you see? Yeah. Uh, a log would be like this. While, I mean, uh, an exponential would be like this. While a log would be like that. Right? Uh, I'm not too sure. <laughs> I'm I'm pretty sure. Let me look it up real quick. A graph of a log. What were you studying? Um, I am doing communications. Cool. So, do you know what you want to do with that? Um, I have a friend that's doing communications, and he wants to be in law enforcement. Um, and so that's what made me do communications because I also want to do something with law enforcement. I was going to make a joke, but it was going to be inappropriate. <laughs> so that's, that's the function function of a log. Okay. So it doesn't go up, but it still goes out. Yeah. All right, cool beans. So we did that. Oh, and so with, with – uh... The first problem, 
Would it be like mm -hmm. log of three and then parenthesis x minus one? Is that how it is? So log of three, parentheses, x minus one? Yeah, like how the, the log that you showed me, it has log uh, whatever and then parenthesis x something. I'm thinking. Dang, I should have looked more stuff into this before we did this. Yeah, I've had I've had a busy day. I started working at a new job in the What do you do for work? Um I work with Haz. Um it's working with what is that? mentally uh handicapped people. Cool. What do you do for them? Um, so it's pretty much like babysitting the whole time. So like they have to have someone with them twenty four hours a day. Um, so like I'm going to be doing tomorrow, I'll be doing a 16 hour shift from 8am to midnight. And I just have to kind of like make sure they're doing their chores, make sure they're like keeping themselves like healthy, making dinner and stuff like that. So, so you make dinner, you shower them, all that stuff. Well, so the person, my client, he's actually like pretty high functioning. So he, I just have to make sure he takes a shower um and then i don't have to make him food at all i just have to make sure he makes his cell food so like we want to help them become independent kind of so, mm -hmm. cool yeah and uh that's awesome and that's in rexburg yep so, and yet did you have to get certified for anything like that yep i have to get I just got first aid CPR certified. I have to get like med certified so I can give him his medications. Um, mm -hmm. and I think that's it for certifications. Wow. So you said that's a new job you're doing. Were you doing something similar before that? No, um, I was working at Sears before this. So. The one on second East. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I, yesterday is like the first day I noticed that thing. Cause it's not like a big Sears, like the one you see at like a, like yeah. a mall or something. That's cool. I'm a CNA, so I mean, I kind of do this, like, activity of daily living, kind of like what you do. Oh, sweet. Do you, like, work with your CNA? I work at uh, Idaho Falls uh, Teton Post Acute Care and Rehab. Oh, sweet. It's right in front of the hospital of Ermac. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so what are you going to school for? Yeah, I started out biology, then I switched to engineering. <laughs> Yeah. And I think I'm going to move it to nursing now just because, like, I really enjoy what I do. So I kind of think I found my niche. And being doing a lot of stuff on the computer kind of bores me. Yeah. I yeah. I started off doing biochem because I wanted to be a dentist. And then I was like, ah, mm -hmm. this is a lot more difficult than what I thought it would be. So I'm just going to switch to do law enforcement because that actually I feel like would be really fun. So did you take Chem 105 or any of the Bio 180s? I took Bio 180, and I did terrible at it. So Who would you take it with? I took it with Brother Deal. Okay. I forget. I think mine was – Kelson was my 181 class. 180, I don't remember. It was a skinny, tall guy. It was a huge lecture. It was probably like 120 people in there. But, yeah. Oh, back to what we're talking about math, though. Um, yeah. So, in my opinion – you have to log base both sides by the same thing to get one exponent off, and then the other one's going to get that log. Okay. But for me, I would use a calculator. Yeah. We're not supposed to if we have to? No, I think, I think we can use a calculator. So. Cool. So for like the first one, 3x minus 1. Oh, I I just looked at something to try to help me, like, get it for, like, the expansion problems. Mm -hmm. um, and so, like, if it's log, or if the equation is b to the y um, exponent equals x, 
then it would be log of B. Here, I'll write it out for you real quick. Cool. Uh, can you see this? Yeah. So B to the Y equals X. Oh, so you have to get the the base, which is B. You have to find the log of that. Yeah, and so then um, the X is like in the parentheses, and then the Y is the exponent goes to the other side of the equal sign. And so it's like so it flips. log of B, yeah. That okay. Makes sense now. I think that should help us try to get the answers now. Yeah. Let me write that. So it should be y equals x log of b. Um, x equals y. Okay. So for the first one, you would put log three. Whole thing of Oh, or is it because they're all the same? You see how three and three, they're the same? Yeah. Would you just do log of um, three to two x plus seven equals x minus one? That? I think so. I mean that looks that looks right. Put that in, and then you would add the one over, and that would equal x. Yeah. Because the answer is there, right, for us? Yeah, the answer um, is like in the answer key for us. So. Okay, I'll just see what that is. Okay, it says x equals negative 8. Okay, let's see if we get that answer. No, I don't think we did that one right. Yeah, I don't know. This is... Because I did log base 3 and then parentheses 2x minus 7, and then I got like a 2.3 answer. Yeah, I'm getting some weird answer. Let me try 3... I'm going to bring that whole thing over, so 3 to the exponent of plus 7. That equals 27. Hmm. Okay, so I feel like we need to do something to both sides. Did in order solve, to, do we solve for like each side separately and then get it equal to each other? Would that be it? 
Hmm. No, you mean equal, like both sides separately, so we're equaling to what? So we're trying to get x by itself, right? Yeah. So since they're both in the exponents, we need to find um, something to get them down. So I think log is perfect. So log of three, but I think, cause let's just imagine the X's weren't there. Remember the threes. I wonder if X minus one equals two X plus seven. Cause that equals, um, that doesn't equal negative eight. Oh, it does. So you subtract the X minus X. You get X on one side and you subtract the seven. So you get negative eight. So that's the answer. You see that? No. It's three, this or whatever. Yeah. If you take, I think once you L, either LN or log both sides, then you get X minus one equals two X plus seven. You minus X, then you get X on one side. You minus seven, you get negative eight. So negative eight equals X. And that was the answer that the answer she gave us. Okay, so if you have, like, if you can do log on each side, then it cancels it out, kind of? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. For the next one, though, hmm, that one's going to take a little more thinking. Yeah. Well, well, I mean, we talked about one, and you got things to do. How about we just put the homework pro or the quiz problems and then we call it good? Yeah, I'm I'm fine with that. I mean, it looks like one and two. I mean, someone can just do one and two, and then someone can do three and four a, and then the last person can do four b and four c. I think whoever does one does four c. So like you kind of. Yeah. Give him like that works. Hard, easy, hard, easy. So one person will do one and four. And then another person or four C. Okay. And then another person will do two. And four A. That looks kinda difficult. Yeah. And then three and four B. Three. And 4B. All right. Okay, which one do you want to do? Um, I can do the 3 and 4B one. 3 and 4B? Yeah. Okay. Um, toss up. All right, I'll do one and four uh, C. Is that what you decided? Yeah. And then we'll have him do two and four A. Yeah. And then, All right, that's Ryan. If you guys want, you can send them to me, and uh, I'll, like, write them on the paper again, like how I did. Okay. And I'll I, work, I work till, like, 2 o'clock. Tomorrow, so I'll get it to you around like five, I think. Is that fine, or what time were you thinking about sending it? Yeah, no, that works. All right, cool beans. All right, thanks, Ben. Yeah, no problem. Ben. Yep, I'll send this one in. All right, man, you have a good weekend. You too. Bye. Bye.